Hello and welcome back to Racing in Queensland. I'm your host, Jesse McDonald. It's my co-host, Paul Knight. Welcome, Paul. Jess, lovely to be here. Where you been, son? I've been <laughs> wanting to do this for a few weeks and you just haven't been around. Viewers have been riding in. They've been missing us. I know, they have, which is always a good sign. Now I've been down in Tassie with uh, viewing the sales down there for the Magic Millions and then I was in Victoria filming uh, filming a lot of the yearlings there for the for Cycam and uh, having a look at the yearlings there for, obviously, the... Melbourne Premier Sale, which a uh, lovely couple of nice horses are going through there. I'm sure there are, Jess. There are. We'll talk about more important things. We're racing at Eagle Farm this Saturday. We're back at the farm for B for the Brisbane Racing Club. And we're straight away into race one, the Foxes Hotel, cutest two-year-old handicap. It's over 1,300 metres, so it's a bit of a step up for the two-year-olds now at this time of the year. It is. Uh, I've gone for... Uh, Number four, Craig Lee Romeo. It's the last start winner over the 1,000 up at Townsville on the heavy track, so I think the step up will suit it down to the ground. It, it's travelled around a bit. Yeah, uh, it's trained by Peter Fleming up there at Gympie, and so I think it'll be hard to beat. I've thrown in for second, wind splitter from the Noel Doyle stable. Number six, uh, number seven for third, uh, Kahui from the Pat Duff stable. And uh, number nine, hopefully, for fourth from the Mark Webb stable. So I've gone four, six, seven and nine. Jess, what have you found in your <laughs> studious ways no. about ten minutes ago, <laughs> studying all the videos as I saw you were? No, I, I looked at the trials here and I like the uh, first starter here called Dana Prince. It's got Chris Munts in the saddle, saddle barrier two. It's by Dana Singer. Uh, they're, they're, they're a nice breed of horse, the Dana Singers. Uh, it's a late fold, it's, uh, 25th of uh, October this horse was born, so... It's not that late. Yeah, well, you it's know... It's December, my friend. <laughs> yeah, well, it's later than most of the others. But in saying that, I, I've seen its trial, it's got Chris Munts aboard, and uh, I don't think the form's a very strong race, so I've got it on top. I'm putting in True Blitz for second, and number nine, hopefully, for third. So I like Dana Prince on top, and I think it's a, it's a good each-way bet. Race two, Paul, what do you like? Righto, race two is the Porter Plainlands Hotel Open Handicap over the 2115 metres or 2115 mm. metres. Interesting distance. Yeah, quite interesting. <laughs> Just a bit longer than the Cox Plate, but not a derby. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I've, uh, I've gone for uh, number 14, Matter of Priority. Uh, he's a five-year-old Stravinsky Gelding. Uh, hasn't got much form on the board at the moment, but he has been a very handy horse in his time. Uh, I think he'll Whoa, probably improve, please. so I'm going right outside the square. Yeah. Here. I'm going 14, Whoa. matter of priority. Uh, claims the two, so with Justin Wood aboard, comes down to 51. Drawn Get a price? Well. Yeah, drawn well. Get a price and Wayne King trains him, so yeah. what, what more could you want? <laughs> Num uh, for second, I've uh, thrown in number two, Hummer. Everyone likes a good Hummer. I've they thrown do. in uh, number one for third, a drum shambo. And for fourth, I've thrown in number four, Sermon. So that's 14, 2, 1 and 4. What do you got there, Jess? I like a, I've got a good bet here. I think this horse is the best bet of the program. Number one, Aglon. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> that sounds good enough for me. It has drawn the 14, which is a query, but in saying that, I think it's got the best form in the race. It's trained by Paul Massara up at Sunshine Coast. It's got the inform Timothy Belt on it, and it's going to be very hard to beat. The form line is very strong for this horse. It has been racing down at Sydney. Its last three, so its last three starts were at Rose Hill, Randwick, and Rose Hill. It has one, one start at the track and distance for a victory. Again, like I've mentioned, it has drawn a 14, which is a query, but it's been placed 54% of the time. And with Paul Mazzara in good form, I think this horse is a good bet. Mate, over 21, 15 metres, barrier 14 is not going to worry that much. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. exactly. If it was 900 metres, I'd say yes, but at 21, 15, I'd you say You never know, like, you know, I get these horses and they're in a 2100 and suddenly they're stuck, in, they're stuck three wide, four wide. Well, and you know, got I a just good jockey aboard, and that's how he yeah, won't I get stuck like that. I just it does my head in when I'm just when my money's on and they're in those races and they're throwing they're out of no means. Yeah, like, I just we blow up, we all blow up. <laughs> yeah, I just say you know, we're take a look at yourself sometimes. <laughs> we are talking through the kick, and that's what we're here for. And I like so I've got nine on top. Aglon is a solid bet and the best bet of the day. Number one, Dran Shanbo for second, and number seven, Bell Academy for third. Moving on to race four. An interesting, uh, tricky little race uh, for three-year-olds. It's uh, over the mile. 
Yeah, over the fifteen. Well, just not quite the fifteen hundred metres. No, oh, well, yeah, fifteen hundred. <laughs> it's close. It's close the to the mile, my friend. Maybe I need glasses. I think the maybe you do. You want to borrow looks mine? Looks like a six. Time. I think so. Uh, what have you to... found in here, Jess? Well, again, I'm sticking. It must be lucky number five today. I like the five. I'm going with minting from the Gerald Ryan camp. You know, drawing the six, fifty-five and a half. Uh, this form, I like the lightly race three-year-olds, yep. three-year-olds in these races. Yeah. I don't. She's I don't. had one start for one win at the farm too. So then, then she's gone down. Gerald's taken her back down south. So you could be on the bickies here. I'm on the bickies here. You could be. I'm sure they're confident. He was Queensland leading trainer in 2000 and 1999. So you know he's got one of the best on board in in Gerald Ryan, and Ryan Wiggins on board. I haven't seen much of Ryan Wiggins, but I'm sure that. Uh, if he's riding for Gerald, he's obviously a very good rider. So I like uh, Mington for first. Number six, Narcello for second from the Brett Bellamy stable. Just to ask your opinion here, this three-year-old's had 18 starts and Mington's only had seven. You know, I, I tend to like to favour the lightly race three-year-olds. Just might be that the other one's a bit more, a bit more forward at the stage and they got a few runs into it early. Yeah, well, absolutely. And I'm putting in Katashi for... Third, five, six, four for me in Newport. Righto, I've gone. Uh, you've gone for lucky number five. I've gone for lucky <laughs> number fourteen. Uh, Way Beal from the Brian Guy stable, and that's uh, I've thrown it in for first, for second. I've barrier thrown twenty. In. Yeah, Whoa. doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter, my friend. Yeah, there's scratching, see. There's emergencies. Have a look. Yeah. Give yourself, yeah. yourself a bit of a slap Bar around. Barrier twenty. Exactly. You can yeah, have be it. Fine. <laughs> be fine. Last start winner at Doonbin. And that's Scotty Galloway, Galloway yeah. aboard. And that he always gets them home, Scotty. Yeah, he does. Rod's yeah, good, Scotty. He does. He rides One of our good Gold Coast friends. Yep. Uh, number four for second, I've thrown in Katashi from the Darren Bell stable. I've thrown in five, Mington from Gerald Ryan. So mm. that, uh, Jess has just told you all about. And for fourth, I've thrown in number seven, Hidden Treasures from the Mark Webb stable. So that's 14, lucky number 14. Just get on yeah. four, five and seven. That's a late November foal, Wabil. Yeah. Yeah, Interesting. It just goes with that other late November one we had. <laughs> well, that's about it for, for our selections for this week of racing in Queensland. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Always a pleasure, Jess. Hopefully it won't be another three weeks before we're back again. Yeah, well, I'm off to Europe for, for two months, so... I know. That's all right. We'll be doing the show from over there and maybe doing a little bit of a... We'll be a, doing cameos yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We'll be getting around and having a look at the breeze-ups and everything over there. So I'm going to be flat out over there and uh, yeah, unfortunately... you flat out like a lizard yeah. drinking. You're flat out. <laughs> but uh, next week, join us next week. We've got a, a special guest. Well, we promised you on the last show that we're going to have uh, Ironman champion Shannon Eckstein on here. He's the Ironman, Nutri-Grain Ironman champion of the world. Uh, he's number like one. like myself. Oh, I was going to say, I was yeah. 21, yeah. Well, man, I just got out of the pool after swimming a few k, so I'm starting to feel all right. <laughs> <laughs> Might compare myself. So he's going to come and join us next week. Uh, he want, he's a budding horse trainer. He wants to get into it. So it'll be interesting to get his insights, uh, whether he applies any of his Ironman training to horse training. So that's going to be a great story. So stay tuned for that next week. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jesse McDonald's, my co-host, Paul Knight. Thanks, Paul. Jess, it's been a pleasure to be back this week. It really has. So join us next week for another episode of Racing in Queensland. Bye for now. Cheerio.